My name is Junior Robinson. I'm a Chicano filmmaker from Pueblo, Colorado, Aslan, here in Southern Colorado. Um, I'm, I carry drum for our traditional Aztec dance group here. I'm a huehuetero. I'm also a member of the Native American Church, and I just I grew up um, I grew up in the Chicano movement. Pasa bien, cabrón. Para salirse de esta. Man, the homeboys are having a house party tonight. They ain't gonna know what to do with the East Side homegirls who stepped up in their spot. We well, do gotta go in all mujer. But the Shit, those who's from the West Side, you ain't gonna talk to them anyways. Besides, who wants a local like you? Growing up in the Chicano movement, that has always influenced my storytelling. It always influenced the type of films that I like to tell. Even even the earliest films that I made, um, my student films while while at USC Film School, um, one of them got accepted to La Leaf. Well, April 10th was a film about Emiliano Zapata and a group of rebels that took over a TV station. People in Berkeley who stopped Columbus Day, they march with us in Denver. Those people in Minneapolis who stopped Columbus Day, in South Dakota who stopped Columbus Day, they march with us in Denver. Hey, it's Carlos Castaneda. We're bringing in the, the summer solstice. We call it Chipantla. Stories of my culture. I think my indigenous culture is very powerful. Just to highlight that, highlight Nahuatl words, highlight um, Aztec dance. By racist minutemen in the dog patch body. Gang members in the area witnessed and did nothing. They turn away from the real plagues of our community. Yet they don't hesitate to kill each other over colors and nonsense on the streets daily. So here we are. The faceless. The living dead. Dying once more. My film that I'm trying to tell now is about a paletero lowrider, but it's not just about paletero and, and lowriding, there's also an indigenous story hidden throughout the story. Um, a story about uh, the birth of the sun. Just like the rest of the mensos out here. <laughs> 